Hey Ranger fans, this is John, host of Video Games in the World, and welcome to Power Rangers Wednesdays. Today is the history of every boyhood crush. Kimberly. Easy boys, easy. In my days of growing up, there was not only a lot of boys having a crush on the character, but whenever me and my friends played Power Rangers, a lot of girls wanted to be Kimberly, although some girls liked Trini too though. Along with Trini and various other female rangers, Kimberly is a symbol of female empowerment. Now, let us begin the story of Kimberly and Hart. Enjoy. It's morphin' time! Kimberly was one of the original five Power Rangers chosen by Sordon when Rita Repulsa attacked Earth following her release from the space dumpster. Her four teammates were coincidentally her closest friends, Jason, Zack, Billy, and Trini, of course. Kimberly received the Pterodactyl Power Coin and the Pterodactyl Dino Sword, thus becoming the Pink Mighty Morphin Ranger. She was a capable gymnast and would later show that she also has some musical and artistic talent. A fun fact is that the actress, Amy Jo Johnson, did gymnastics in her childhood and also has a lot of musical talent. We all remember that moment when we saw her playing guitar wearing her Pink Ranger costume in Canada where she lives. Kimberly starts a series as a typical valley girl, but with a heightened awareness for her friends. Throughout the series, she is the member of the team most likely to fire off a sarcastic or witty retort. Though as MMPR progressives, she becomes more friendly and kind-hearted person. Skull, one of the local bullies, had a crush on her until she became involved with Tommy Oliver. However, in Season 3, it is shown that Skull still had some lingering feelings for Kimberly when she was placed under a spell that made her, albeit briefly, reject Tommy. Oh, brother. However, in the episode Power Ranger Punks, due to read a spell on her lemonade, she became a punk with a bat hair and a punk girl look and invited Skull on a date to smash the city. <laughs> but when she came to, she was disgusted. In the Green with Evil story arc, she was immediately swooning over Tommy Oliver. When Bulk and Skull were bothering her, Tommy immediately showed up and told her to knock it off. And told them to knock it off. They were gonna teach him a lesson, but he showed off his karate moves and maybe we'll teach you that lesson some other time. When Tommy was under Rita's spell, he was rude to Kimberly. But when they discover he's a Green Ranger... Yeah. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy, I know. I know you're the Green Ranger. Well then, Pink Ranger. You should also know that you and the other Power Rangers will soon be destroyed. When Tommy joined up, Kimberly and him began a little love story that is way better than Twilight or The Notebook because those two stories suck. Big time. Anyways, Tommy and Alpha were to rebuild Kimberly's World Peace Parade float after Rita destroyed it, which hinted a romance at the time. In the episode Best Man for the Job, Kimberly and Tommy were competing for school office and the competition heated up because of Rita's spell, but it took magical flowers to calm them down in that episode. But enough of Tomberly for now, back to Kimberly. Lord Zed once wanted Kimberly to be his queen before marrying Rita and ordered Goldart to capture and train her into being his queen. But the magic dust didn't work and she retained her memories as a ranger. She then did a Rita impression to fool her captors and give Billy and Trini enough time to rescue her from her training. All the members of the team possess unique fighting styles she used a blend of gymnastic maneuvers followed by punches, elbows, and kicks. She often used the environment around her as a springboard for her attacks. Kimberly was often called upon to finish off monsters with physically visible weaknesses such as the Terror Toad Second Mouth once he had been weakened by losing his horn and the Snizzard's Golden Apple on top of his head. When Rita Revolter, oh, destroys the Thunder Swords, Kimberly and the other rangers travel to the Desert of Despair and gain new powers from the creator of the Power Coins, Ninjor. 
Kimberly becomes a pink ninja ranger harnessing the spirit of the crane and controlling the pink crane ninja sword. She later moves in with Aisha's family when her mother becomes engaged to a painter and moves to France. Oh la la. Zed creates a monster artist mole, artist mole from Kimberly's nightmares and about her mother's fiance, but Kimberly defeats it. A brush with destiny, Kimberly was sad when her mother was not present for the 1995 holiday season, but she returned from France to surprise her daughter. Kimberly was replaced by Catherine Hillard. The veteran ranger was targeted for elimination when Catherine, also known as Cat, under Rita's spell, stole her power coin, granting her access to the ninja swords. The coin being in the hands of evil also served to drain Kimberly of her life force, as the ninja powers were linked directly to the life of the ranger. Unlike the dinosaur base power said, to take advantage of this, Rita launched a campaign to keep Eep Kim overexerted in battle, knowing that at the same time she was focusing all of her personal time to gymnastics training for the Pan Global Games. Her coach, the famous Gunthar Schmidt, grew increasingly impatient with Kimberly's apparent lack of dedication to her training. On one occasion, Kimberly trained late at Ernie's gym and juice bar after hours and depleted. She fell from atop the balance beam. She is discovered unconscious on the floor by Catherine, overriding the evil spell she is under. Catherine calls 911 and Kimberly is hospitalized. She recovered and later Catherine manages to give Kimberly her power coin back. However, Kimberly almost abandoned her gymnastics training after that until she is encouraged to go back at it when Catherine took a a dramatic approach to inspiring Kimberly to pursue gymnastics again by revealing to Kimberly a scrapbook of her own athletic achievements in the sport of high diving. After hitting her head on the board, she gave up on the sport just short of her entrance into the Olympics. Catherine lured Kimberly to a local pool where she arrived just in time to see Catherine perform a fearful yet expert high dive for her, her first time in years. This and Sordon's declaration that her recruitment as a ranger is over prompts Kimberly to leave in order to train full-time with Gunthar Schmidt for the Pan Global Games in Florida. She selects Catherine as her replacement. She and Tommy were boyfriend and girlfriend starting in, in The Green Candle until in the episode of Power Ranger CEO, There's No Business Like Snow Business, she wrote Tommy a Dear John Letter because she found someone in Florida. He might have thought to himself that it's funny how women and girls always want to be friends after they rip your guts out. Hmm, that's for sure. But it's not the end of Kimberly as she returned in Turbo, a Power Rangers movie where she and Jason were captured and under the control of Malagor. But thanks to the efforts of the Turbo Rangers, she was freed from Malagor's control and Jason as well. Kimberly will later return in the legendary battle alongside her fellow Rangers. And that's pretty much it for Kimberly, guys. Now, I gotta say that she had a very interesting history, and I can understand why so many girls wanted to be Kimberly. It's because Kimberly is more than just beauty. She is one who is not to be messed with, and she could teach even Zor Lord Zed to not mess with her. As for the actress after the show, she will be in movies made for TV like Suzy Q and Killing Mr. Griffin alongside Mario Lopez from Saved by the Bell. She was also well known for her role as Julie Emmerich in the college drama Felicity, and she was a cop in Flashpoint. I hope you enjoyed this, so please comment, subscribe, and support me on Patreon, Facebook, and Twitter. Next week, we'll talk about the history of Billy Cranston. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. May the power protect you, and I shall see you all next Wednesday. Bye-bye.